Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at altcoins, 10Xs, looks like a massive surge is coming. So in this video, I want to go through some research looking at different altcoins and comparing them to each other to see if we've got some sort of bigger returns elsewhere. And we have a lot of Cardano profits. Some people haven't sold, some people have. And I want to deploy those profits again. So that's what this video is about, doing some sort of beginner type research into finding some altcoins. Now, I'm more maths and database as opposed to the fundamentals, but of course we need some of those as well. But this video is going to be primarily on numbers. So if you like the sound of that, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, bell notification icon, because if the scammers can get here early, so can you. It's your home of hopium free cryptocurrency and investing content so make sure you like up the video let's get it to 3,000 likes push it through the youtube algorithm all right guys let's dive into the first piece first piece is looking at some charts total to shit perp btc dominance btc and eth okay so i was going through my charts and i'm looking at these things thinking these are all setting up to take off from this point how far we don't know, but the idea is to figure out which ones are going to boom faster than the others. So we're going to take a quick look through these charts and then move on to some of these cryptos. Uh, a couple of points I want to uh, mention are what are you going to do with your profits after this? So start thinking about that now if you're about to take positions and uh, you're going to look to keep investing, you're going to buy something and be done with it all, or you're going to do a combination of both. Because some people are investing 50 bucks, some people are investing 10, 50 grand. So the returns you're going to get are vastly different. So some people are just going to think, well, look, from 50 bucks, I made 200, sort of buy something and move on. You never come back to investing ever again. Others, this is their long-term play to make uh, financial passive income so anywhere in that space to basically move on from this point so we're looking for 10 x's big surge looks like it's coming let's take a look at these charts so this is the first chart total two you can see we've got a beautiful looking ascending triangle here we've got our bars we're on a daily chart if we look at it on a weekly just zooming out got a macro going on we are setting up to potentially break out of the zone. So nothing is confirmed just yet, but the breakout point we're looking for is around the $700 billion mark. So we had a top uh, on the first, well, the 15th of February that week, then the week of 8th of March, and then again this week. So we've hit it a few times, bottoms are getting higher, it's still a good looking gradient through this area. Back to the daily, and essentially, we're just waiting for this break above that sort of 710 billion. So let's set an alert at about 720 billion. All good. If you want to use this, trading view, there's a link in the description down below. So total two is looking good. The others we wanted to look at were Bitcoin dominance. So that's BTC.D. And Bitcoin dominance has just been, it could either be accumulation or distribution. We'll find out once it breaks through either the lows or the highs. So again, we're going to put our alerts just at these levels around 59, 58, and then above these levels here, which are around 63. So I'm going to go just above 64 points. Okay. So uh, with that in mind, the idea here is that we want to identify where the Bitcoin dominance is dropping, which means should have well we should see another alt season and that's essentially all i'm doing with this chart we've had this pin to the chart so we've had this double top anchored since around early january so we're looking at uh, the bitcoin dominance to have a double top with a projected target of around 54 to begin and potentially we head down to our 150 percent which is around 50 50%, that's Bitcoin dominance. And then ultimately, we want to get it down to around 48%. So Bitcoin maxis are going to hate that, but I'm sure if you're on a video of altcoin 10x surging, something like that, you are not a Bitcoin maxi. So let's have a look at Bitcoin USD. So essentially, we don't want to see Bitcoin pushing to new all-time highs. This is something that uh, Ben Cohen talks about in his channel. It's a it's a pretty good theory from what I've seen so far. If Bitcoin is pushing to all-time highs, then Bitcoin steals the show. And from that point, the rest of the money goes to Bitcoin as opposed to Ethereum and the altcoins. And if we're looking for big gains in alts, then we want to see the money flow into altcoins. There's a flip side to that. We don't want to see Bitcoin dump either. We don't want to see Bitcoin go from uh, where it is now at around 58,000 and drop to 
anywhere beneath probably this area here. That's usually what I look for because they are the swings. We want to see it hold the support levels of around forty-two dollars to $44,000 USD for, for Bitcoin. And if it does, then it looks like we could see some of the money flow through to the altcoin space, which is, which is essentially what we're here for. So the last one I want to have a look at here is Ethereum oh, and the shit perp. So the shitcoin perpetual. So let's look at Ethereum first. ETH BTC is barely holding its ground at the moment. So that's not such a good sign, but at least it's holding up. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see it break below 3%. So that's good. And then ETH on uh, USD also looking pretty good. Yeah, so we've got, we've got a similar position with ETH USD. So this is also uh, a good sign. We don't want to see all the money flow into Ethereum because we want it to see it flow into altcoins to get our 10Xs. So, so far, all of the checks are, are happening. They're all in play. So let's just throw one more alert above 2000. And from here, the last thing I want to look at before we look at our cryptocurrencies, our 10Xs, 50Xs, whatever we are, shirt, oh shit perp. All right. This has taken off to new all time highs. So the shit coin index perpetual futures, which you can find on FTX exchange, uh, this thing has taken off to new all time highs, but the volume is, is dropping on the way up. Probably not. It's not too much of an issue because we have seen extremely high volume into this period. So it is just averaging out again. But on the climb, we probably don't want to see it drop to these sort of levels because who's buying them? That needs we need to have volume in the market to continue pushing it. So so far, everything is checking out. Shitcoin index is, is up. Bitcoin dominance holding steady. We probably want to see it drop. Bitcoin price is holding steady below the all time high, but not crashing. Ethereum holding up as well. It's not taking the gains from Bitcoin. So we've got a lot of good check marks here. So let's move on now to the 10Xs. We need to understand that first before we just look blindly at 10Xs to think these things should just go to the moon. So I've got a chart drawn up here for you guys. I've got a ton of cryptos which I've gone through. And essentially, I want to run through this side of things. Now you can see I've got a few highlighted. So they're the ones that I want to have a look at in more detail. Now I've got these as reference because a lot of people just want to keep holding Cardano and uh, basically they're just like, well, I'm just going to hold this thing forever. That's cool. That's one strategy. I do that with Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think Cardano was a great one to get and potentially it, it will get its five, maybe 10 X. And you might think this is stupid. There's no way that that's where it's going to stop. Cardano is going to a trillion dollars. We all have to take some aim at where we think these prices are going and that's doing your own research. So Cardano, this is a current market cap for all of these cryptocurrencies. And this is just a guesstimate. And I'm only putting this up as uh, basically, I'm just guessing this against current market caps for cryptos, which are in the same space. And they kind of have a similar potential. For example, Cardano is at 40 billion and Ethereum is at around 200 billion. So if Cardano is to get to Ethereum's market cap, it's current market cap because of course Ethereum is going to go up in price as well. I don't think Cardano is going to flip Ethereum in this bull market. If it does, it'll be for a brief moment. I don't think it's going to be a long term thing, but I, I can't see that happening at this stage. And if that does happen, look, it's around four to five times return. This is the niche that I've got here. What sort of uh, niche that these cryptos are trying to target because I don't want to be invested in in too many in the same niche. And then the, I've got the exchange here for you guys who always ask in the comments. So most of these you can get on Swiftex, CoinSpot for the Aussies and Binance for everyone else plus Aussies. And there are some which are only on Uniswap and one in particular which I really like, PokerStarter is on Uniswap, Poloniex, uh, Hobie, I think I said that right, and OKX. All right, so let's take a quick look. Cardano, potentially around a 5X. So if we did take some gains, we can put those gains into some of these other cryptos which have bigger gain potentials in my opinion. And if that is to happen, it's higher risk, but then we can go and buy some more Cardano later. So that's the whole beauty about taking some profits out at some point where you believe the market might have a restful period. Maybe it goes down exactly like we did with Cardano at around $1.20. Sure, it's above $1.20 now, doesn't matter. Take profits, maybe there's 40X returns down here or 20X returns down here. I see that as better returns than I see on Cardano. I don't see Cardano doing a 20 or a 40x from this point. 
because essentially 20 times 40 is going to put it at uh, what 800 billion i can't see that happening in this bull market and if it does great you've done amazingly well so let's have a look at the rest of them chain link about 12 billion currently 100 billion i think it could get there polka dot and i'm trying to do these conservative as well because i don't want to get too far ahead of myself plus when you add up what's on this chart and this is only about you know 15 20 coins you have to take this in consideration to the overall port, uh, the overall market cap the crypto market cap and currently the crypto market cap's at 1.8 trillion 1.86 trillion how big do you think this market cap is going to get in this bull market if it gets to 10 trillion it's only it's it's almost 5x from here it's a bit more than five, well, five times. So it's not exactly 5x, but it's it's just a bit more than five times the amount. If we get to 10 trillion, we're basically in gold territory now, all of gold. Okay, so we've got to take those into consideration how much money is actually out there that could pile into Bitcoin at this time. And of course, yes, there are uh, supply issues which could push the price a hell of a lot further. There's a lot of variables. So Really, we want to take a bit of a conservative look to make sure we actually come out of this bull market with gains. All right, Chainlink, possibly about a seven times. Polkadot, about a five times. I think it could go further, but I really just, like I said, I'm not going to repeat it. Conservative. Let's be conservative. Let's get some gains and do something else with it. Passive income, stock portfolios, get some cash on the side. Maybe you want to buy a house, have a deposit for some sort of real estate where you are. Uh, Uniswap, five times. VeChain. Maybe five times. Do you think you can go further than 30 billion? Currently, we've got Cardano and those sorts of projects at around that price tag. Algorand, late entrance. I really like Algorand's chart pattern at the moment. About a 12. Now we're starting to get into some projects which have something meaningful at this point. Uh, the graph, about 13. Uh, one inch, 13. Uh, Plasma Pay, that could be a big one. This is a very small market cap cryptocurrency, which we'll talk about as well. $30 million currently. Maybe it gets to a billion. I'll show you that in a moment. I've got some of these websites to have a look at and they look pretty cool. Okay, injective protocol, 28 times. That's looking very strong at the moment. Poker starter, a big one that we looked at, I think it was when it was under a hundred million dollars. So that's done very well for us. Funding platform on poker starter. Poker cover, this is fully diluted at a hundred million. It's insurance for decentralized finance okay so it's DeFi insurance that you can see here i've said maybe maybe we get to five billion it's an insurance thing who knows if they can actually get there 46 times so even if it did half of that or a tenth of that it's still not too bad and we don't know the market the actual market cap at the moment this is just the fully diluted market cap uh, there's just no information on that which we've looked through coin gecko okay zillica i like this on the chart potentially it's a 40 billion you know it's a protocol it's doing very well uh, it's only at 2 billion at the moment. So maybe we get to some sort of Cardano or Polkadot figure and that'll give us an eight, 18 times return there. Uh, Litten Tree, maybe a 46 times. You know, this is ID, it's 10 billion. Also, we're looking at Mantra Dow, which we've checked out on the channel before. Very small market cap, 160 million. Maybe it gets to 5 billion because it's a DeFi app and this one also looks really cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out these ones. Um, actually, this one as well. So we'll look at these on their... Uh, websites just to have a quick look because they look pretty damn good. Okay, uh, Mantra on um, Carver we had we have looked at briefly, 359 million, maybe a 10 billion. You know, it's a good DeFi platform that is getting built and it's being used. It's looking really good. Benchmark Protocol, small market cap. These are the, the smallest out of the lot here, uh, potentially one billion. It's a DeFi hedging token platform. So I think it could go a lot more than one billion if they can develop this really well but it's there's just not that much on it at the moment but that's pretty much what you get when you get a low market cap crypto you basically ride it to a few hundred million see what they're they're produced at that point and then let's see if we can get there to the the, the billions and then that would give us our 38 times potentially closer to 100 times if it started to push into the multiple low single digit billions badger dow 20 billion, it's a DeFi for Bitcoin and they're doing pretty well. It's about 1.3 billion locked up on the Badger Dow platform, which we'll have a look at as well. So I'm just looking at that uh, market cap is, you know, one times 20. Basically, there's 1 billion locked up. Maybe we get 20 billion. All right. So I've looked at a lot of these. Let's just take a few of them and 
do a little more research on them and then move on to the next step. So essentially I said this was like the beginner's research side of it and I've put all this into a just a spreadsheet so that I've got the data there. This is where I started. This is my guesstimate. This is what I think the return is and I really need this column. I need to come up with some sort of guess and something that is reasonable to figure out the return so that I can then deploy my capital in areas that I think are going to have better returns than others. If I keep it just with Cardano, I'm probably expecting a five. Same thing with the rest of these. So I want to go to something that is a little bit higher or uh, well, a lot higher return, but I've got here on the side the risk. So obviously lower risk at the top, higher risk at the bottom. So that's just purely from what I've seen in the market. There's no real scientific uh, way to do that side to understand the risk. First thing we want to have a look at, Algorand is one we want to have a look at. CoinGecko, $1.30. This is the website enabling enterprise to embrace decentralized finance. So we have a lot of DeFi plays and basically it's just going to come down to which ones have got partnerships, which ones have got good marketing and we want to see them start to push, really, really push their brand during this bull market so that we can get those gains. Because at the end of the day, we are not marrying any of these cryptocurrencies because we don't know if they're actually going to do it during the bear market. Algorand has been there through the bear market, so that gives me more confidence, which is why I put it down as an average to low risk crypto to get into to get these bigger returns. Next one we'll have a look at is Badger. So this is Badger Dow and the ticker is Badger. You can get these across all those exchanges that I mentioned. Basically, I'm just looking at total value locked. This is a pretty big metric when it comes to uh, decentralized finance tokens, cryptos. People want to know how much money is being locked onto these platforms to give it value. So we're at here 1.3 billion. You can check out what's locked up on the platform, percentages, values, amounts. Uh, there's a there's a lot going on for Badger being so new. So this is, this is a good sign. 169 billion. This is just early stage stuff. We just want to check to see things are looking good so that we can then put more time into certain projects. We can't go and do deep dives on everything. We just need to uh, basically cut the list down. So Badger's looking good. Carver also looking good. The world's most powerful, okay? Decentralized finance APIs. Uh, good website. Their marketing's been really good. They're going on a big marketing push. They have pushed into new all-time highs, which we'll have a look at. And uh, join the fastest growing DeFi ecosystem. All right, so they, these are all the exchanges you can get them on. Uh, we'll look at this in further videos, but today I wanted to go through and just do uh, like a, a overview research, okay? Next piece, Mantra DAO, store and grow wealth together. Mantra DAO is community governed, uh, community governed DeFi platform focusing on staking, lending, and governance. Mantra DAO leverages the wisdom of the crowd to create a community governed, transparent, and decentralized ecosystem, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. The websites look really good. I think they've got uh, very good marketing to go with this whole karma and it's a mantra and it's an OM token, borrow, very good looking website. They got lending, looking to get onto Polkadot, which we know is a very big buzz platform to be on as well. So overall, it looks good. Listed on exchanges, it's it's available in a lot of places. So um, that also helps the, the price. So Mantra Dow also liking this one. Injective protocol, I love der derivatives trading any market, anytime, anywhere. Decentralized layer two. So again, a lot of good buzzwords, good family, Pantera Capital, uh, three commas, Binance, of course, this looks good. We've looked at Injective. It's something that uh, I've bought recently and um, I think I still have this in my portfolio. I have to go and check that out, but I will be buying more of that one. Poker Cover, what we covered earlier. So they've got a lot of partnerships on their medium. You can see here they're partnered with Paid Network, which unfortunately had a, a, hat, a hack the other week, but they're all back. They're good. Poker Cover, Ban Protocol, Big Oracle, Poker Cover Labs. Now this is a uh, an NFT uh, project, which is in the property space. That's why I like the look of Labs as well. Fractionalized property ownership. I think this one is, this is the sort of project Labs, in this case, that is going to really push the real estate cycle and get extreme gains in land value. But that's coming in a few years. That's why we've got to get some gains from crypto and we start to funnel them back into different assets. So we rotate them. Poker Cover on Twitter, same deal. They've got all their uh, their partnerships showing up here. 
and poker cover what I wanted to see here was their token metrics so this is their white paper and then token metrics total supply uh, circulating supply 135 million and they've got a buyback and a burn 25% of quarterly net revenue so that's a good thing they do have a, a burn a buyback and a burn that's what we want to see last one I've got here is plasma finance it, this looks beautiful I really like this this is the P pay token and P pay was uh, this one here so 30 million so look at this I, I think it could easily be a billion dollar project you think of something like Voyager or any of those sorts of apps Look at this, we got the easiest way to invest in DeFi. Plasma is uh, Plasma Finance is your home of decentralized finance. Invest, store, manage any DeFi token with ease. Good looking platform. Shows us some debit cards, maybe they got some cards. Fiat ramps, that's always a good thing. Uh, payment methods, Visa, MasterCard, Swift, SEPA. SEPA, I've never heard of that one. So yeah, <laughs> not something we get often here in Australia. Best yield strategies in one place. Uh, auto calculations, choose. Okay, so DeFi is difficult and they're trying to make it easier. That sounds great. The best financial tools will help make your swift decisions. All right, I've gone on about that long enough and basically just going through the website here. Plasma Finance is probably one of my picks at this end. And at 30 million, I could definitely see this doing one of those massive gains. If we got this thing to 3 billion, you're getting close to your 100x. If not, it is you know dead on your 100x. So this could be something like the Voyager app. So we have gone through many of these tokens here. This is a long enough video. This is the start of uh, uh, uncovering some 10x altcoins. I've got a few that I really love. PayPay is one of those. I didn't have that on the list here, but PayPay is definitely one of those. We also had Injected Protocol, Poker Starter. We had Om, MantraDAO, Carva, and Badger. I'm going to take another look at Benchmark Protocol. I'm not sure about this one. So, and I'm not even sure if we can we can grow and get gains from it because it looks like a bit of a stable coin. So I've got to do a little more digging on that one, but it did come up in some searches. Okay, so Cardano, I'll leave you with just the last bit of news here. Cardano is launching on Coinbase. Great. If you're not up to date with it, there is the tweet. Now it's on regular Coinbase, coinbase.com. And that's pretty much it for this video. We're going to look into Chainlink, Polkadot, Uniswap on the charts because they all look like they're taking off. The big caps are looking pretty good. And uh, of course, Cardano is also sitting at its near its all time highs. So if you like the look of that, let me know in the comments what else is on your list. I added a couple that you guys have mentioned in the comments many, many times like VET, but you know, we're trying to keep these videos to a good length. I'm not getting into VET today, but maybe in another one. Zillicart we looked at just a couple of videos ago. Get onto that. Litten Tree also looking good. Let me know in the comments what is on your 10X lists and we'll see you at the next video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, 3,000 likes if we can get there. Uh, to catch me on Instagram, so go and follow me, link is down below, daily Q&As, and you can see my retirement fund portfolio, which I'm posting on there almost daily, if not every other day. And of course, if you wanna learn more about this, we're starting to get into this in the Investor Accelerator. There is a course link down below. There is a discount on that until the end of this month. So jump on board if you want to get uh, understand more about this side and of course, uh, trading. So thank you very much, guys. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.